Hi everyone, thanks for joining me here again at the New England Wireless and Steam Museum. The video you're about to see was originally part of a very lengthy video that we filmed for Steam Up 2020 here at the museum. Steam Up is our annual fundraising event held here at the museum the first Saturday of each October. Unfortunately for 2020, we weren't able to hold it in person, but we did shoot a whole series of videos presented on YouTube. Please enjoy this segment. We hope you like and share these videos with your friends that might enjoy them. Please follow the link in the video description below to the museum's homepage for more information about everything in our collection here. Also, I hope you'll consider a donation to the museum today. You can find a link in the video description below to help us preserve and share all that we have here to future generations. Thanks again for watching. All right, so what we've got going on over here is a demonstration of uh, the principles I talked about a little earlier with the Newcomen engine. Got a little steam going on, I'll get out of the way. So I had said earlier that the Newcomen engine relied on negative pressure within the cylinder to uh, actually exert force and pull it down. And I can only imagine that people have a hard time relating to that, understanding what sort of negative pressure it would be. Well, in the air all around us, in the atmosphere, we don't feel it, but we've got about 14 PSI of pressure on us at all times. It's called standard pressure at sea level, um, and Newcomen didn't understand what he was doing, but found something that worked. He took advantage of displacing all of the, the air with steam, sealing that chamber off, and then uh, putting a water spray into it to make all of that steam condense drawing a negative pressure inside of the uh, cylinder and letting air pressure push that piston down. I had heard in some cases that he started off with maybe a 20 inch piston and I think one of our other volunteers here had said that some of the larger Newcomen engines had 50 inch pistons in them. So uh, I do a little math, 25 squared times you know 10 or 14 psi times, times pi. Um, you get a tremendous amount of pressure on just that flat disc from the atmosphere. So, taking some idea of what's going on here, we're filling, what, what I have is a little burner underneath. We can, uh, let me take a quick look down there. We've put a little bit of uh, water in the bottom of this barrel here and just have a propane burner going underneath there. Nothing real special. Just heating up that water and letting it turn into steam. Now, because of the way that steam expands, you get a 1,500 times expansion. I think Ernie might have said earlier 1,700. Sometimes it's a massive expa expansion of volume between water and steam. So this amount of water right here, probably even less than this amount of water right here, will completely fill this barrel with steam and displace all of the air that's in the barrel. We've been steaming this up for just a couple minutes here. It's well full of steam. I don't really feel like uh, touching that to any great extent right now, but um, we got to seal this up. And the whole idea is, uh, let that keep going, Mike. See if that'll uh, see if that'll keep going just a little bit if it's going out. Oh, we're gonna just relight it here because I was going to uh, going to go for just another second. see how quickly that steam dissipates because we have almost zero water in the bottom of the barrel here. Looks great. Um, so I did a little math earlier and I was thinking that uh, going back to what we were saying about the Newcomen piston size and so forth, the outside of this barrel between the circumference of it and the heads has about 3,300 square inches of space to it. If we imagine that we're going to draw even 10 psi of, uh, of negative pressure here, not probably not quite the whole 14 pounds of atmospheric pressure, but if we get 10 psi of pressure on the outside of this barrel from what we're about to do, that'll mean 33,000 pounds of pressure trying to crush this barrel in. And you'll see just how powerful that concept of the Newcomen engine is. So we're ready to go. Got a good amount of steam coming out here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the lid in here, just cap this off to seal up what we have going on inside. We've killed the, the power. I didn't have
happen to bring my drum wrench with me today, so we're cheating a little bit. Let's see what happens. I know we've got to give it a little bit of time. You can already see the head of the drum starting to pull in. And if we just hit the outside of the barrel with a quick spray of water, it'll help to condense a lot more, a lot more a lot similarly to what Nukemin was actually doing. Once it goes, it just wants to keep on going. That's an awful lot of negative pressure right there. I don't know how many men it would have taken to stand on that barrel and try to crush it down, but an awful lot more than what we have around here. So there you have it, the, the power. Unbelievable, it just wants to keep on going. The power that Nukemin was harnessing in his engine, the negative atmospheric pressure. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that barrel now, but uh, probably not much. That's, you know, I don't think it's going to work. Everybody wants to say, we'll just boil the water back again and try to blow it up, but I really don't think it's going to work out quite right. All right. Really cool experiment. I'm glad we were finally able to do it here.